guys, Mike Edward here, head trader True Trading Group. September 27th uh, was a good day. A little bit of luck for me today. Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. Um, I'm sitting up about 38%, 35% now um, on this IGC. Unfortunately, I only have a little bit of my position left. I sold the bulk of that position intraday for a nice gain. Uh, so I missed out. Uh, well, I didn't miss out. I still am holding on to a small piece of this position, looking for maybe maybe a little bit of a gap up tomorrow. But I missed uh, this move with the bulk of my position. I sold the bulk of my position earlier in the day, still holding on to a piece, and I caught this, um, you know, this big rush into the close and trading higher here after market. So we'll see if we can get a gap above five dollars and a push maybe up to five fifty or so tomorrow. That's what I'm looking for on IGC. So like I said, a little bit of luck for me today in IGC. I'll go over that with you in a moment. But first, I want to talk to you guys about PDT rule, the pattern day trading rule, because this is a conversation that came up today in chat. And I want to make sure that you all fully understand the PDT rule because there are ways around that restriction. Okay. First and foremost, cash accounts are not held to PDT. It's margin accounts. The con or the negative of the cash account is you can only trade with the cash that is settled in your account. Okay. Meaning if um, you, I believe it's T plus one. If it's an options trade, it's T plus two. If it's a stock, all right. So meaning that you know, but when you buy and you sell the stock same day, it'll take two days for that cash to settle. Meaning it'll be available for you to trade with that cash again. So if you only have five thousand bucks in your account and you place a trade that's four thousand dollars, you're in, you're out you're only going to be able to trade with $1,000 now until that $4,000 settles in your account, which will take two days. But if you have you know, $10,000 in your account, you're still under that PDT restriction. You would still be under the restriction. But if you're a cash account and you trade with like a $5,000 position and you're in, you're out, you still have $5,000 that you can trade with and not be held to that, uh, that pattern day trading rule. Okay, so I want you guys to make sure you understand that that it's just the margin accounts, but there is there is a, a con or a negative to the cash account also. I wanna make sure you know that. Second, even if you are under PDT rule and you are trading with a margin account, you can still use the tier trading method. Okay, I teach the tier trading strategy. It is in the courses that are available on truetradinggroup.com. Um, you'll get access to these courses with your membership. Um, the tier trading system is really, it's a risk management strategy that helps keep your losses small and helps you stay in winning trades longer. And it's, it's based on tiers, tier one, tier two, and a tier three. Sometimes, you know, you don't always have to get up to a tier three, but tier three is for when all the stars align. Um, it's usually 25% of your desired position size is tier one, 50% of your desired position size is tier two. And then that last final 25% is kind of the icing on the cake. And that would be tier three. Um, I scale out of my, my winning trades. Okay. Um, and I want, it's, it's important to scale out of winning trades because that's how you can stay in the winning trade longer by reducing your risk. When you get that first move, locking that profit, being prudent and reducing your risk and that makes it a lot easier for you and you're more comfortable holding on to the rest of that position to catch a larger move. IGC is a perfect example of that. I scaled out of this position on on two totally different price areas, okay? 368 I think and then 388 and now I still am holding on to a piece and the stock's at 489. All right? If I was not using that tier trading method, I'm probably not still in this stock. Okay? So I still have a piece of this position. I actually sold more again at 427. So I broke up that last final piece into a 10 and a 15% with the last 25. And I'm still holding on to a piece and I'm still in the trade. And this is how you can stay in winning trades longer by tearing out as the stock moves in your favor. And I had someone today, it was actually on social media. Somebody actually commented to me on Twitter. Guys, follow me on Twitter. It's Mike... Uh, Mike Edward underscore TTG um, is my Twitter handle. Give me a give me a follow on Twitter. Somebody actually asked me a question on Twitter about, oh well, that's great and all, but I can't partake, I can't use the tier trading method because I'm under PDT. 
and it's not true. You can still scale out of your position in tiers, all right? It goes by your entry lot. So let's say, for example, you buy 1,000 shares at once. In one shot, you buy 1,000 shares. You can exit that position 250 shares, then 500 shares, then 250 shares, and that will count as one day trade. 1,000 shares in, 1,000 shares out. That does not count as four trades, all right? Now, if you buy 500 shares, then you buy another 500 shares, and then you exit that position, that will be counting as two day trades, all right? So it's important that you guys understand that. Um, I have never been held to a PDT rule, all right? So I, I'm not going to... You know, I, some people were talking to me about it and they're like, oh, well, you know, you don't trade under PDT. And, and no, honestly, I, I don't. I never have. But I there's many members that are part of True Trading Group that do. Um, and I just wanted to make sure that you guys understand some of these parts of PDT. I personally am against PDT. I don't like the rule. Um, I know it's meant to, to protect investors, but I don't think the protection on an investor should be a dollar amount uh, a dollar amount restriction um, or a frequency of trading like that. I don't, I don't think that should be the restriction. Like when I walk into a casino, if I'm gambling for the first time, it's the first time I ever walked into a casino. I, there's not a limit on how many trades I can place while I'm there or how many bets I can place while I'm there. And, and casino is a game of chance. I mean, when you're trading, there's, there's, you know, a skill set to it and there's, a, there's knowledge and there's education that kind of, yes, there is a, some level of, of chance or unknown variable in the trading because that's just, that's just the, a free market, but it's a hell of a lot better than just gambling. There's a lot more to it than that. So I personally am against PDT. A lot of people, some people like it. I hate it. I don't think it should. I think I don't think it should exist, to be honest with you. I don't think just because you you don't have twenty five thousand dollars in your trading account, well, that's a lot of money. You know, just because you don't have twenty five thousand dollars in your trading account means you're restricted to how often you can trade. I don't, I don't, I don't like that. I don't like. I don't think if you have a thousand bucks, five thousand bucks, and whatever you have in your trading account, I think you should be able to do whatever you want with it. It's your money. That's how I feel. But so, with that said, moving on. IGC. Okay, let's get into this IGC trade, guys. We were gapping up here on IGC above yesterday's high, and we spoke about pre-market, guys. Look for yesterday's high to hold support. Yesterday's high is 339. Okay, so we gapped up today, and this is the trade that I was talking about where I got a little lucky. Okay, we gapped up today, and I saw the first two candles held that 345 area, and I thought to myself, okay, we're holding above yesterday's high. I thought maybe that was that was us holding, and I jumped in here long right there at 362. I'll take you to my trade announcements on the day. Let me zoom this in for you so you can see it a little bit more clear. 934, long IGC, 362, stop loss, 350 area. This is where the luck comes in to play a little bit here, guys. 350 area, did not have a physical stop loss set, and we immediately flushed real quick. This candle happened very quickly to put in that low right there at 335, and I did not have a physical stop loss set at 350. It was an area that I was looking for the, for the stock to hold because we're holding above yesterday's high and I'm looking for the low of the day to hold. That's why I said 350 area. It happened so quickly. Put that low in and right away bounced back up and got back above VWAP that I didn't exit the trade. It happened so fast. And I said to myself, okay, that tail right there, that's now my new out. That's my stop loss, 335. We get below that, I'm out. OK, because I said to myself, well, yeah, we broke that initial low of the day, that initial morning low from the open, but we're still holding above yesterday's high. So you see right here yesterday's high. Well, we held it. We actually held it. So that's why I said that's my new out. Well, we came back down, guys, and retested that low. That low is 335. We came back down and tested it. That's exactly 335. That's where I got lucky. I was milliseconds away from exiting this position at 10 a.m. when the stock was sitting there looking like that. I'm telling you guys, if this stock printed 334 or 333, I'm banging the bid and I'm out of this position with a market order. All right. And that low of that candle is exactly 335. 
So a little bit of luck worked in my favor, ended up not banging out of the position and ended up climbing back, got back above VWAP and then rallied um, later on in the day and started to make a run all the way up here. I took profits off right here because I, I, I was I was so close to getting stopped out of this position, not stopped out, but exiting the position that once we got back to the high of the day, I took some profit off the table. I'll take you back to my trade announcements. Uh, oh, here's my trade on RXII. Made a little bit of money on RXII, like a 17% gain on RXII. And then I lost 8% on a tier one. So a small position on CDTI. So it was a nice day, but this doesn't show you the my IGC. Let me get to the other. There was a lot of action today in chat today, guys. That's why I had to break up my trade alerts into two different screenshots. Here we go at 11.32, took some profit at 3.68 in front of the high. 12.21 is when I sold the bulk of my position at 3.88. Okay, so that's right there was my second take profit where I sold the bulk of my position. And then I'm holding 25% of my position at this point. Well, we extended even further during lunchtime. And right there at 4.27, okay, I sold another like... 13 or something percent of my position and I'm still holding on to about 12 percent of my position and we're trading up here at 491. So that tier strat that tiered strategy kept me in this trade. A little bit of luck kept me in trade in the morning, but then one, two, three tiers out and I'm still holding on to a piece and then boom, tremendous follow through. I'm still in the trade up 35 percent maybe on this last final piece. Yes, it's a small a small piece of the position that I had, but hey, I'm still in the trade. I'm still making more money than I would have had I exited the whole thing at 388. So that is what this video kind of is about, guys. A little bit of luck for me today, but I wanted to go over that PDT situation with you. Make sure you guys are aware of that. Talk to your broker about PDT. Um, there is a chance that maybe some brokers, I don't know. Uh, like I said, I've never been under PDT, so I'm not... 100% sure. Um, but check with your broker, ask them, you know, what I just said to you guys, if that holds true, because th those are ways that you can get around the pattern day trading rule, either altogether, you can get around it by using a cash account, not a margin account. Or if you are under PDT, that's how you can still partake in scaling out of your winning positions. All right. And that can help you stay in the winning trade longer. Cool. I'll see you guys in chat tomorrow. We'll have to finish this week off on a high note. Take care.